everybody. It's LaMonda live at Circle of Sisters 2017 here at the Jacob Javits Center in the heart of Manhattan. We are having an amazing time this year. It's always crazy at Circle of Sisters. And I have this wonderful celebrity next to me. Her name is Andrea Rachel. You might, <laughs> you might, might, might be like, nah, that's, that's destiny from power. That's, that's the girl who Tariq was messing with. Oh, <laughs> you get it all the time, huh? I do. I've been getting it a lot lately, but I mean, it's it's enjoyable. It's funny to see how people are reacting to it and the stories and concoctions that they make up. It's, it's hilarious, actually. So you had to do what we don't do. Street code <laughs> rule number 101, you don't break. You had to snitch. I did snitch. I really, really did. But when you think about it, her cousin left her for dead, right? Yeah. And then on top of that, he's the one who got her into the nonsense. So did he really deserve not to get snitched on when you think about it? Okay. When you think about it. <laughs> I mean, and then she's a kid. So she knows the code, but it's Tommy and she's a kid. So she has all right to be nerve wracked and she feels guilty. So she wants to make it right. And I think that's what it really is about, making it right. All right, so we'll excuse snitches get stitches in this case. We'll let Destiny live, all right? Yes, thank you. Tommy did, so. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Amen to that. So what brings you to Circle of Sisters? Tell us what's going on in your world. Man, I just want to see the vendors. I want to see everything that's going on. I love being around women. I mean, there's not, there, no one else can get you, right? A man, y'all are high. But you guys don't connect with us in the ways in which we need to, you know, have a woman understand us. So I'm here for the energy. That's really what brought me out today. Um, I love WBLS, so shout outs to them for even having this. And then I'm talking about HBO's The Deuce. Tell us about this new project <laughs> that you have. Yeah, so it's called The Deuce. It's um, out right now. It's on HBO. And basically, it's about the rise of the porn industry in the 70s in New York City. So it starts off and it follows a bar, a bar owner. And from there, you see how he's kind of losing his marriage. He's losing the bar. And he has to find a way to solidify his place in this world and really be a man and take care of his priorities. And one of the ways in which he does it is by letting um, the prostitutes and the pimps come into his establishment, which opens up a realm for a lot of other things. And my character is Bernice. She comes from the South, and so she gets sucked into this whirlwind as well. And you kind of see her learn how to find her strength, how to find her voice, how to find her way. And she's kind of overcompensating for the fact that she's very overwhelmed. So, yeah. So when we watch you on HBO's Deuce, The Deuce, is Bernice a very difficult character for you to play? What do you tap into to um. become Bernice? Because this is markedly different. Wouldn't you agree from, you know, Destiny to Bernice in the rise and fall of the porn industry on HBO? We're like from zero to 100 real quick. Well, actually, HBO's The Deuce came first. Okay. So I, I was able to really jump into that and be fully vested in that. And then I kind of dialed it back for power. And I got to, like, come back home to something that's a little bit more modern. But it wasn't too difficult getting into character for Bernice. I didn't want to play her. You know, I just wanted to kind of be this person like I didn't do anything that felt forced or unnatural um she is from the south so that kind of took me back to my roots because my mom's from the south her whole family's from the south so I had fun doing that I had fun talking to my family about just you know getting into that like slower slower paced mentality and you know just being very um having like very very polite manners and being overly considerate and, you know, trying not to step on someone's toes, just being back in that mental space. That was really my focus. But other than that, it wasn't too hard because I just lived as her in that moment. So, yeah. Great. So we're yes. going to let you run so you can go catch the energy and shop till you drop and Thank enjoy you. Circle of Sisters. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you guys for having me.